Hi, this is Dr. Ray Tahiri, and this is our first makeup tutorial of several uh, tutorials that I will offer in future, uh, helping you to learn uh, different functions in Maple version 15, uh, and specifically for my AppSci 170 engineering fundamental students at UBC Okanagan. Maple is a very powerful uh, symbolic mathematical. Uh, software you can do almost any kind of uh, mathematical operation using Maple. Uh, this tutorial I basically talk about uh, the basics of Maple, how you enter a function, how you solve, and uh, something in in a more like an introductory level. We will talk about several other uh, functionality of Maple. We talk about how to plot, linear algebra, minimize and maximize. Uh, of a function and then we'll have a, a broad uh, series of tutorial on integration area volume and mass before I start I would like to give you a little heads up of uh, the tools that we have here on right hand side uh, first one I would like to talk is uh, handwriting and as the name suggests so you can uh, draw something here, something like this, for example, which it doesn't look very uh, appealing. And you press uh, this button here, and it actually converts it to uh, gives you an option of a possible shape similar to what we have. And in this particular case, I meant Tera, and you can simply uh, put it there. So. If I want to do, like, for example, integration, I use something like this, press it here, and then there we go, I can type uh, and press uh, integral. Although Maple has a library of uh, hundreds of symbols, and mostly you won't need to actually uh, use this function in a very occasional uh, case. Now, the most important one is the expression. You have several expressions here, you know, integration, definite, indefinite. And you have derivative and several other functions here. So this comes very, very handy. Uh, then we have next one is there are two buttons, one for unit in SI international system, and the other one is for foot pound second. You have common symbols here, as you can see that there are several common symbols that you can use here. You have also the Greek uh, symbols. We talk about that when we explain about polar, cylindrical, and spherical uh, coordinates. Matrix uh, itself is the topic of uh, one or two uh, tutorials in future. I won't uh, talk about it. You have components here. You can add, for example, icons here. You can add uh, radio buttons. And this will be a little more advanced if you want to do more programming different kinds of arrows you have here, then you have relations, you know, for example, any of these relations. Uh, uh, you have rounded relations. And finally, the one is more important here is operation. You have various kind of operation here possibly can use. When you are uh, about to type something like a function or so, you have always to make sure that you are uh, in math, not on text. As you can see, it's different here. And even if you are in math, they are in different uh, mode. You can be. I always leave it here in a 2D math. So let's start by entering a function. That's the most important, uh, perhaps, function or functionality of the maple. So let's talk about the first Newton law. So I have force as a function of two variables. One is mass and one is acceleration. And I uh, do colon equal. And this is what is actually uh, suggesting that this is a function. And now I have to define the function here. In this case, is mass multiply. So multiplication, you press shift and 8. And it comes a. So as soon as I press enter, Maple is asking is the function. So the answer is yes. So I can see that I have two variables m and a, and the result is m a. Now if I want to uh, find the value of uh, the function of force of a mass of 
5 kilograms with acceleration of 10 meter per square second, all I press is here. So what if I have a function of 0.25 kilogram and uh, the acceleration of e uh, to the power minus 5? Just, just for the sake of argument. So you press E here, and then you press Control Space. And what I meant is here, E, and then I want to use power, so that would be Shift 6 to the power minus 5. It's very, very small uh, acceleration. And if you press it here, this is what I get. But of course, if I want to know what is the actual answer here, so this is just what we have, 0.25 multiplied by e to the minus 5. So I right-click on it, and I go to option of approximate 5 decimal, and it gives me the actual answer. Okay? Now, I can even type here f, so 5... And then I go here to unit as we talk. So 5 is the mass, which is kilogram, comma. And then I have 10. The unit is meter per backslash. So second, second. And I want to close the parentheses. I go to right arrow and here. And of course, the answer, as you can see here, is kilogram meter square second. So this is Newton. Of course, uh, I could have used Newton before, but this is how you can use uh, simply the unit. Now let's have uh, a little bit of um, maybe more advanced. So you can even add a function of x, y, z, uh, and k is equal to um, x to the power 2 plus y divided by z minus k to the power x. So that's fairly uh, complex function here as you have it here. And if I want to find the value of this, this function at a certain point 1 at this particular point, uh, we have four variables and I want to calculate the value of this certain uh, point so you just press uh, enter and it simply calculated for you here and then again if you want to uh, find the value here all you do is you go here uh, right click approximate and you get the value of minus 4.2 now let us start by actually entering a real function so fx equal to x square plus 2 multiply so shift 8 x plus 1 this is a function now the first thing I would like to do and again we talk later on about how to plot but simply if you want to know how to plot that you just go here and you highlight it here maybe I close this one here and right click you go to plot, a 2D plot, and this is what simply we have here. So now I actually can simply solve this. So I would say x squared plus 2x plus 1. This is what I have here. And I right click on either of these two and I go to solve and I solve it here <clears throat> and the answer is obviously is minus 1 and minus 1 and this curve simply shows that the intersection of this curve with the x axis which is y equals 0 is at exactly minus 1 now uh, I also could have written x x to the power 2 plus 2x plus 4 
and I want to solve this one here and obviously you realize that this curve does not intersect with the y-axis and I can plot it simply here go to plot 2d and you can see that it doesn't actually uh, intersect so I can maybe uh, simply go here and I can scale it here so we can see it doesn't intersect with uh, the Y however what answer I got here these are two imaginary answers so which is the are actually the answer of this equation but these are not in a real uh, number so they are imaginary number now I could have perhaps something a little more uh, advanced and just bear with me I'm just going to use a, a function in matrix but I will teach later on about the matrix I just go here and I have two by two a matrix here I put as the entering the matrix and my matrix is sine x cosine x and is x and this one is 2 divided by x so this is my matrix again we learn later on uh, that we can use a values function here I use a determinant here right click and I go to the standard operation determinant so this is my determinant and now if I want to find this value the answer to solving this value right click on it I do solve and I go to solve and it gives me an answer which is it seems a little bit of odd so you see that the root of the tangent of uh, this symbol so in this case I don't get an actual so I prefer to solve this not in a general form but I would like to solve it in a numeric way I go here and I use the numeric solve and here we go there is an answer for this and it's minus 2.02 well how do I know this is the only answer and there are not other answers so in that case the safest way is you go here and right click and you go to plot and you plot that simply and you can see that yes we have more than one answer as a matter of fact we have three answers here and obviously this particular one is the one that Maple gave us here this is the answer we have here so there are two more answers and how do I calculate the other two answers I simply have to go and I have to use different function here I select here right click solve and I go solve a uh, numeric solve from a point so now I have to define the point here so obviously one of the points is around here so 3 pi divided by 2 roughly about 5 so I press 5 here okay and here there we go there is one answer is 4.61 uh, and there would be another answer right click solve and you go to numeric from the point is minus 5 and there we go this is another answer here so there are three intersection here so one here one here and one here and these are the values I have calculated Maybe that's enough for uh, our first actual uh, tutorial. Right after, I have another tutorial, a continuation of uh, this tutorial. Thank you very much.